Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Niara Alexis. I cover hair, makeup, and a little bit of luxury. And today, I'll be trying out Laura Mercier's new setting spray. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. Laura Mercier setting powder is my go-to. If you don't know, she's my go-to. Like that's the only setting powder I ever like to use. And so when I seen Miss Ma'am came out with a setting spray, I was like, on it, bye. Like as soon as I saw it on Instagram, I went straight to Sephora and I bought it. Okay, so this is called the Translucent Pure Setting Spray 16 Hours. It's an invisible hydrating setting spray. It's alcohol free. I do want to say that I bought the small version of this. I'm all for buying like the travel size versions of a product before you like really invest in the full size. So I do just want to say that we are actually going to be doing a wear test of this. This says it lasts 16 hours. I don't wear my makeup that long, but I am going to put on makeup and wear this to work just so you guys can get an idea. I want to see like what kind of mist this has because sometimes setting sprays be like a little bit too forceful. Oh girl, something just poked me in the eye. So let's test the mist, let's see. Can y'all see that? No, you can't, that's a white background here. I don't know if y'all, y'all see my arm? Like, let's do a drive. That's a lot of spray that comes. <laughs> so just be careful like okay I'm gonna that's a forceful mist okay that's a Laura I really wanted to be into this but right off the back I feel like my face is about to have do y'all can y'all see that I feel like I'm about to have all the splotches on my face. Oh girl. So like if you ever have that happen to you where like you put on a setting spray and it just like looks splotchy, immediately get a sponge. Get your sponge and start dabbing it out before it dries. I'm gonna do one more in the middle. Oh God. I think, do you see my under eye right now? I think this, this, that has to be defective. That has, the verdict is out. Okay, so let's do our wear test and then we'll, I'll let you know how I really feel about it. This is the second part of our review. So I'm about to put some makeup on. It's Monday morning. <clears throat> let's put some makeup on really quick and then I'm gonna spray the setting spray on and then we're gonna see what is that, how long this will last during the day. All right, so our makeup is done for the most part. Same base as I wore yesterday. So this is a little bit heavier than what I usually wear for like day-to-day -day makeup, but I wanted you guys to see like if you wear like foundation, contour, blush, all that type of stuff, like how this will last. So let's spray this on. It's, oh. it's so forceful. It's so forceful. I don't like the spray. I don't know if like oh, the sprayer on the small one might be different. So that's what our face is looking like right now. And it is 9 a.m. So I'll come back and I'll check in with you guys like Monday, like noonish. Okay, y'all, so it's like 12 o'clock ish. Come on, you can walk past. It's not, <laughs> it's like 12 o'clock ish. I had to put my glasses on because I didn't have contacts on. And I need to walk to Target so I could like get some stuff. But also, I thought it was good because then I could like actually be out in the element. Um, this is what my makeup looks like right now. I just have to say off the rip, I'm impressed by the setting, setting spray. I'm not really a setting spray person. I did touch up like around my nose a tiny bit with my sponge, just like whatever was on there. I didn't put any extra powder on there. My face is looking good though. It's looking nice. You wanna be in it? <laughs> it's looking really good. I also found these sunglasses in Target. I'll put the link for them below, but I'm definitely about to get them. I'm really having a sunglasses moment right now. All right, so it's the end of the day. It's five o'clock on the dot. Let me, let me go into better lighting. Okay, so better lighting. I haven't touched up. I haven't put any other powder I lied. I did use my sponge like maybe around like three or four-ish. So like, 
Now my face is like, the oil is starting to peek through. And let me just say, this is like what my face usually would look like, like maybe two or three hours in with a full face of makeup during the day. I've eaten all my, my lip stuff off. But this is what my, my face usually looks like soon. And for this to be the end of the day, granted, I haven't worn a mask at all today. I haven't been out like on the train and everything. So like, you know, take that into account. This is pretty good. I'm, I'm going to get the full size. I just want you guys to know that. Until about like four o'clock is when I really start to notice, okay, like the makeup's starting to like break down a little bit. So like the 16 hour thing, I'm not gonna try to even wear this for 16 hours, but I would say that's maybe a reach. Um, I also can't compare this to like other setting powders or setting sprays because like I said, I'm not a setting spray girl. I don't use that many setting sprays, to be honest. So yeah, that's it. That is my review. I would say it's a go. It did, it lasts me pretty good throughout the day with a full face of makeup, a full base. So um, definitely try the smaller version first. The smaller version is $20. So I would say give that a try first before you invest in the full size. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.